Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new to the familia, welcome. So guys, I am so excited because I'm back with another lip swatching video. So I finally got my hands on these NYX Shine Loud Pro lip sticks, pigments. We're gonna be lip swatching them in studio lighting and in daylight. Give you guys a full review of why these bad boys have gone viral on TikTok. We need to know the tea, you know? So if you're interested in seeing how it all goes down, showing you everything about these lipsticks, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on because I'm always here. And follow me on my socials because I'm always there as well. And let's get started. Ah. Oh, you guys, I am so excited and I'm ready to do this. I've been waiting a very, very long time to do this. I will explain everything at the end. As you guys know, we always do the lip swatches first and then we just have a full on chat about lip swatches. But before I start, I'm ready with my Andy ointment, makeup wipes. And I had to buy this because word on the TikTok street is that these don't come off. So I'm a little scared, but excited. We're gonna be finally, finally lip swatching these bad boys. Shout out to TK because I was asked to lip swatch these when they first came out about a month ago. And I was like, I don't know, no. And then I was like, okay, yes. So here we are, but so this is the first shade. It's called Gold, Gold Crusher. The name is right there. So let's read up on it really quick. This is a two-step technology that delivers comfortable one swipe bold color with an ultra glossy non-sticky finish. Formula infused with rich lip loving oils including macadamia seed oil, coriander fruit oil, jojoba seed oil, apricot kernel oil, and passion fruit seed oil. There's a lot of oil so I hope my lips are not on fire. These are the Shine Loud Pro Pigment Lip Shines that NYX came out with. They're only available on NYX website and Ulta currently. I'm pretty sure it will expand, but I don't have the date for that yet. All right, guys. So before we start, I just want to show you guys the order. We're going to swatch all 10 of these. It's lightest, well, kind of, you know, to darkest. And oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. All right, and here is the first one we're gonna start with. I have nothing on my lips. They don't have a scent. That's always nice. And look at how the doe foot looks. All right, guys, this is the shade Gold Crusher. This is Gold Crusher without the top coat. This is the shade Gold Crusher. And in daylight, this is the shade Gold Crusher. All right, guys, next is Global Citizen. This is Global Citizen without the second coat. This is the shade Global Citizen. In daylight, this is the shade Global Citizen. All right, guys, next is the pink one, the shade Trophy Life. Trophy life without the second coat. This is the shade Trophy Life. And in daylight, this is the shade Trophy Life. All right, guys, next is Life Goals. Without the top coat, this is life gold. This is the shade of life gold.
And in daylight, this is the shade Life Gold. All right, guys, next up is World Shaper. Without the second cult, World Shaper. This is the shade World Shaper. And in daylight, this is World Shaper. All right, guys, next up is Rebel in Red. Without the top coat, Rebel in Red. This is the shade Rebel in Red. And in daylight, this is Rebel in Red. All right, guys, next is On a Mission. Without the second coat, is on a mission. This is the shade on a mission. And in daylight, this is on a mission. All right, guys, next is in charge. Without the top coat, this is in charge. This is the shade in charge. And in daylight, this is the shade in charge. All right guys, next is boundary pusher. Without the gloss, boundary pusher. This is the shade boundary pusher. And in daylight, this is the shade boundary pusher. All right guys, last but not least is next gen thinking. This is next gen thinking without the gloss. This is the shade next gen thinking. And in daylight, this is the shade next gen thinking. All right guys, oh my God, so. We have a lot to say. As you guys saw, it is three o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna do a wear test today and I wanna show you guys really quick the arm swatches. Girl, looking like a glazed donut over here. You guys know I always do all sorts of swatches cause I like to give you guys all the knowledge of the product. So per the usual, I'm gonna back the camera up and we're gonna talk about these thoroughly. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest review because I have so much to say. First and foremost, it took me two weeks to get these all together. I've gone to literally like 
five Ultas or maybe six at this point, trying to piece them all together, trying to get a good variety of colors for you guys to really see and enjoy and see what shade will work for you. So there's a total of 24 shades. So I try to get one of each sort of color section so you guys can get like a real look, but it was hard because they're pretty much sold out everywhere, meaning they're only available at Ulta and NYX website and a bunch of the shades are sold out. And I've been looking every day to see if stores have them, when they're gonna update their website and restock them, but they have not been restocked so there's a few of them available i was able to find some at certain stores but like i told you guys i would i legit went to six stores my boo's probably so sick and tired of me talking about these lipsticks and how i found one one day and three the other day but anyway oh so why the hype i was trying to figure out why the hype i just didn't understand but these are bomb the shades are beautiful like all the shades look so beautiful in daylight they look beautiful in the container they look beautiful on the lips they do differ though like on my lips like this one doesn't even really look pink i felt like it had a little bit of purple to it but of course my skin tone i'm medium to brown skin tone and i do have pigmented lips so that does affect coloring as i showed you guys i wanted you guys to see how it looked without the gloss on top and it's essentially a very very matte liquid lipstick this side it's completely matte so you have to let it dry for about 90 seconds i let it dry a little bit longer because i really wanted you guys to see the texture on my lips i have very textured lips and anything matte it's just gonna accentuate the lines on my lips and i hope you guys were able to see that because i really wanted you guys to see that because i'm like oh maybe you can wear this by itself without the gloss no if you wear it by itself it's extremely matte and very very sticky it kind of reminded me of these maybelline superstay 24 hour they have like this whole lip balm situation that you add the pigment first and then that but these are like the better version the updated version of those they have the shades are just so pretty my thoughts are like why how do they last so long what's the deal so also i haven't seen any reviews on this so it looks like that this matte portion the longer you let it sit the longer it's gonna just last on your lips and then you put the top coat and the top coat gives it that shine and it also sort of seals it together but when i was doing the lip swatches i would get my i could show you guys i would get my makeup wipe and let's take it off and you see the pigment's still there it's just not the shine so the shine it kind of comes off but not really it's like a weird situation well, not weird, it's different actually. That's, I think, all the hype. Let me just put the gloss really quick. Oh, one thing I noticed too, like you see the gloss part, the little, the container is not full. So keep that in mind. That happens a lot though with um, glosses, I feel, because it needs space to like insert this, the actual applicator. These shades, you have to really build them up. Plums, tend to be extremely patchy that's just how they are look at my hair i even did a hair flip without trying so you just have to let it dry a little bit and then add it on let it dry a little bit and add it on so it's a whole layering process i only found that with these two though all the other shades applied bomb the applicator girl besides that broken one you guys saw this applicator is perfectly shaped. You guys know I don't have a huge cupid's bow. I don't have the biggest lips and this was just perfect. I really didn't mess up and I mess up all the time. You could just apply it so effing seamlessly, you guys. Whew. I think the colors that NYX just put together are bomb. It's like more shocked and shook about the colors and the gloss. Like my lips look huge with the gloss on like really big and not, I didn't even outline it because I really don't do that. Like my lips are just how they are, you know? Girl, every time I would go to the sun, I'm like, my lips look huge. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm just like completely shocked, pleasantly surprised. I mean, I had a feeling that they were that bomb because they wouldn't go viral just if they're an average product. I know that for a fact. 
Well, I don't, but I just feel like, you know, that would be. But I actually also want to show you guys swatches on my arm in daylight so you guys can see the undertones. You guys know I love for you guys to see the undertones and what the shades really, really look like on my arm and especially in sunlight. And they're in the order I lip swatch them all. Got this whole time. I had something on my teeth. So guys, here are the arm swatches a little further back. So let's kind of swipe and see. Girl, what? Look, it feels glossy. You see how like the gloss is down here? But girl, this thing is not going anywhere. <gasps> what? I need to take this off. I have a meeting soon. Look at my finger. Okay. Okay, this is innovative. It reminds me of this, but not really now. Okay. Wow. So let's do a kiss test. I'm gonna get my little napkin here. Nope. Not really. I mean, very little. Very little. Look. Pigment is still there. I think these are worth $11. I felt like it was a little expensive. $11.50. It packs the punch you want. I think if you want something shiny and long lasting, this is your girl. Because the shades are so beautiful and very pigmented, I feel like they would go with any skin tone. And they have such a huge variety that you, you watching, you right here, it'll go with you. This shade or any of these shades. But you guys, I love this. I mean, am I raving about it too much? Probably, but it was a mission to get these, okay? I've been on a mission and shout out to TK because you convinced me to finally get these because I was gonna not do it. And then I got another couple of people ask me. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. But yeah, guys, whoo! Oh, and shout out to every single person that has told me to use this when I do lip swatches. This lip swatch round was so easy for me to do for you guys. Like, this is like magic, okay? This is magic. So thank you, thank you, thank you for every single one of you guys who have told me about this because I always use the one with the pink cap, not the green, which it says waterproof, why I haven't, but girl, that's another story. Girl, it just removed it like completely, easily, perfectly. I didn't ruin, ruin my face makeup. Thank you, thank you. And okay, guys, yes, after my mission of two weeks of trying to find these, I swear the girls at Ulta were probably annoyed with me because I would call them every day, like asking where their shipment. When, when is your shipment? Do you have the shipment? But you know what? For you guys, I will do that and more. Trust me. Okay, but I think this is it, guys. Oh my gosh, thank you if you made it all the way to the end. I know I talked a lot. It was really emotionally connected to the lip swatches. I love you guys, especially if you made it right here, right here while we're talking. Thank you guys so much for always showing me love and support. I'm gonna do a wear test, so I'm gonna insert it right now. But if anything goes abnormally wrong or right, I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, I am back. So it is 10 o'clock. Get my hair looking crazy. And this is how the lipstick looks. I haven't done anything. I ate twice. I've been drinking water, doing my usual. So it's been seven hours. It looks a little dry and crusty. Something I did notice is that it does crust up a little bit. I felt like my lips were peely at the very beginning, but now they feel soft. And it's probably all that oil that is in the product because they don't feel dry. They don't feel crusty. They look crustier than they actually feel. And I forgot to mention this again, but this bad boy right here will soften up your lips anytime they feel dry or if you use like a super matte lipstick and it dries out your lip this is gonna be your best friend your lifesaver a and d ointment it's actually a baby diaper rash ointment but it's perfect for any dry areas you have ankles feet knuckles lips whatever you got ashy this is your girl but yeah guys it's legit it does last a very very long time let me know your thoughts on these also i know i'm a little late to the game but let me know if you tried them do you have them have you seen them around let me know your thoughts because you guys know we love to talk about makeup in the comments and i think this is it guys i love you guys please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and i'll see you in the next one bye love you guys